All right, guys, welcome back. We're at our morning meeting for the Bamboo Blitz. It's a season of unusual acceleration. So we're at the uh, Arlington headquarters here. We're about to go have some awesome meetings. Guys, we are doing something different this Blitz, right? Because we always switch it up. Seasons change and so do we. So this is the Bamboo Blitz. We're in a season of unusual acceleration. So we're about to head into the morning meeting with Nate, get the guys hyped up, and then go out there and break another record this Blitz. So today we're gonna break our day up very, very uh, strategically. We need to maximize 4 p.m. until 8 p.m. The, the whole goal of each of you, so I wanna go, I want you to understand that your goal today is not to get a deal. Your goal today is not to pull a power bill. Your goal today is to get the closer in the house one time. My goal today is to get a closer in the house one time. I got, I got all day to do it. We're, we're setting appointments and sometimes we're setting them out days in advance. Don't even, that's nothing. A days in advance appointment is nothing. That was most likely a smoke screen to blow you off the door to push it off to deal with it later, guys. Appointments and people that build intrigue, if the customer has the, if the homeowner has the aha moment, if they truly go and they, they're listening to you, somehow you, Merry Christmas, and then I go into my pitch. And if I can get them at, at a point where they go, aha, there's something in this for me. Yeah, let me go grab that bill. When I get them to that point, they will sit with me today or tomorrow. Our mindset is going to be strictly on, I'm going to get an alley-oop to the closer. All I have to do today is get my closer in home. Our job is to get the look. Our job is to get the closer into the home. That is it. I see so many people that say, oh dude, I booked four appointments. Okay, when are they? How come you weren't in home today? Well, that's because you're allowing them to dictate and them to control your work, your work schedule. We're in the, we're in the area right now. My, my solar specialist is right over there with your neighbor, Cindy. Like, it's not like something where we come drive, like, it's not like that. We just pop by, show you the numbers. Let your closer bust through that door and do what they do. So guys, work your magic on getting the opportunity to show them the numbers. So we gotta be in a frenzy today. We gotta have ants in our pants. We gotta take massive action. All right, guys, we just wrapped up our morning meeting. It's Super Solar Wednesday, season of unusual acceleration, yeah. season 13. What's yeah. your message for Illumination? Nation? How you feeling and what's our goal? Kill that voice inside of your head that's telling you that you've done good enough. You know, you set a goal at the beginning of the day and it's so often that as you get through the day, you start making excuses as to why 80% will be good enough. Every single person wants to win. Every single person is trying to dig deep. So you have to be the one to do it. If you're the one making excuses, you're falling into the majority. So no excuses. We we, you know, pray for stamina and get after it. Lumi Bros! All right, guys, we're about to go knock a couple doors with Mikhail Provost. Guys, this guy right here is a huge inspiration for the entire company. I think I can say it on behalf of the whole entire company that you've kind of set the bar, right, 2022. Um, but guys, it's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. So it's literally December 14 right now. We're out here. We just got a, an appointment on our first door set. So you're, in, you're the absolute truth, bro. I'm excited to go knock a couple more doors with you. How many installs would you say you've gotten in this neighborhood, Mikhail? Right around 30. Hey, sorry to bother you, sir. What's up? You guys uh, new homeowners here? I'm not here to waste your guys' time. I want to leave you guys with one of these. You guys should have gotten this in the welcome packet when you guys first moved in. Do you know if your sister got that by chance? I have no idea. You friendly? Yeah, you are friendly boy. What's up? I got, I got two dogs of my own. Dogs going crazy. Dogs going crazy. What are some advices that you have or some advice you got for breaking preoccupation? Dogs. Yep. They have dogs for your security system. Do you say the same thing every single door or do you uh, switch it up? I say the same thing every single door. Yep. Basically. What's your what's your go-to intro for when you when you first uh, when they first open the door? Asking if they're the new homeowners or if uh, they've been here for a little while. I'm gonna, like, are you guys are homeowners here? Awesome. How are you guys liking it? Yep. You know, just yep. kind of start up the conversation. One thing I'm learning from Mikhail, guys, is that, is that it's important to warm up, right? Just like when you're in sports, right? You want to go shoot a couple free throws before you actually get out there. So one thing that a lot of people say in the company about Mikhail is that he's a purebred, right? Like he's out here absolutely crushing. A lot of the guys out here, like, you know, they're kind of like uh, rough around the edges, but not Mikhail. Mikhail is a, a purebred <laughs> horse, absolutely killing it. Hey, sorry to bother you, ma'am. Are you guys the uh, new homeowners here? Yeah, my sister. Your sister, is she home by chance? No, she's at work. She's at work, do you know what time she usually gets home? Um, we'll stop by, we're gonna be helping out a couple of your neighbors, so we'll stop by. Do you know what color car she drives? A white car? Awesome, we see a white car, we'll come bug you guys. Okay. Thank you. 
clearly the homeowner wasn't home, but what I do have is the color of her car. So when I see the color of the car, I'm like, oh, she's home. Was the garage broken? I saw you messing with the sensor. Did you fix it? So you're a handyman. You're a handyman? <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you the uh, homeowner here? Okay, is there someone here that could translate? Right? Um, I'm putting this in your hands right now. It's, it's in regards to the solar panels. Have you guys looked into this at all? Oh, yeah, but they said uh, we have to wait at least for one year. No, so uh, do, what company said that? No, so we're, we're actually posted up on the neighborhood Facebook page. Um, we've been, we're your guys' local company. We've been getting a lot of calls from a lot of your neighbors here ever since the big rate increase. Um, so a lot of your neighbors are just trying to lock in their price per kilowatt. Um, obvi obviously, you guys have looked into solar though, right? Can, can you ask your, your friend when they moved in? Do you know what electricity company they ended up going with? Oh, Reliant? Reliant's a really good one. They do what's called as a buyback program. You guys probably have seen that on the website, right? What I'm gonna do is I have an appointment with one of the neighbors. I can swing back around and leave you guys with your information. So guys, Mikhail's biggest advice is find three new developments and then just work them, right? You might not get one right away, but like you said, then you'll get one on the corner. Mm -hmm. And then two months later, you'll have 30 installs in, in two neighborhoods, right? Hey, sorry to bother you, sir. You guys the uh, new homeowners here? Yeah, it's just in regards to the solar panels. Yeah, no worries. I'll leave you guys with one of these, though. You guys should have got this in the welcome packet when you guys just moved in. Did you guys get one of those? What's your biggest sales tip of the day, bro? When it gets dark early, that's when we thrive. So right now, we're just, just all warm-ups, right? Get a deal before one, then get another deal before four, and then come out of there around five or six and try to get in the house before nine. Hey, sorry to bother you, man. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, is that a Shih Tzu? Yeah. I have a Maltese and a Poodle, like a Multi-Poo. Yeah. So he's super cute, I, they'd be best friends. <laughs> Are you guys the uh, new homeowners here? Yeah. Awesome, when'd you guys move in? Mm -hmm. I wanna leave you with one of these. Has, um, did you guys get that in the welcome packet when you guys moved in or? Okay, or are you guys on the neighborhood Facebook page yet? Mm -hmm. Perfect, so it's posted up on there. Um, we're your guys' local company. Basically, we've been getting a lot of calls from a lot of your neighbors here ever since the big rate increase, and especially when you just moved in. Did you guys sign up for electricity? So after getting all the calls, all we're doing is we, with the group rate, cost of the panels went down, removed all the upfront costs, essentially making a no-brainer for a lot of your neighbors here. Everyone here, they just get a free energy report from your local company. We just wanna be able to leave that with you guys just so you guys have options onto it. Um, what electricity company you guys end up going with? TXU, TXU is actually a really good one. They do what's called as a solar buyback program. Have you seen that on their website? No? Well, I'll show you what it looks like real quick. We're gonna be stopping by Michael's house. He's on the corner right now in the next five minutes. And then we'll swing back around and leave you with your information just so you do have it. So 6 p.m. your husband typically gets home? Yeah. Okay, and what was your name, ma'am? Laura. Laura? Mikhail. Oh, I know you have a puppy, but. And then, is there any reason why 6 p.m. wouldn't work for us to come by and leave you guys information? Perfect, so we'll see you here at six o'clock and I'll shoot you a text as well. How I typically like to word it, they just moved in within two weeks, right? So they're not gonna have a bill. I'm gonna, I already been in this area long enough to understand kind of what they're gonna need. Um, I like to ask simple questions. How many people are living here? Do you work from home? Anybody work from home? She already told me they work from home, so now I'm gonna add that in there, right? Because um, if they work from home, obviously they're gonna need a couple more panels. So if I know they don't have a bill, what am I not gonna ask for? A bill. Hey, sorry to bother you, sir. Are you the uh, new homeowner here? Yep. Awesome, when did you move in? Just about a month ago. Awesome, were you guys from the area originally? Well, hey, not here to waste your time. Um, you guys should've, I wanna leave you with one of these. What kind of pup? Yeah. What kind of dog? Pomeranian. Pomeranian? Oh, yeah. Hey, it's a boy, boy or girl? It's wolf. It's a boy? Oh, I thought you said it's both. I was like, boy, where'd you get him from? <laughs> Um, I'll leave you with one of these. Has oh, anyone? Someone already, someone already is here. Anybody from our company? I don't know about your company, but yeah. Okay, so uh, the, oh, you ended up getting like an energy report from them? Uh, no. No? So it, it, are you guys on the neighborhood Facebook page? Maybe the wife? Typically the wife's are. She probably have seen it. Um, basically, we're the, your, your guys' local company. We've been getting a lot of calls from a lot of your neighbors here ever since the big rate increase. Mm -hmm. A lot of your neighbors are trying to lock in their price per kilowatt, oh, right? What's the cost gonna be? Uh, it's, a, it's a bill swap. Like right now, like, are, do you know how much you're paying every single month? Your neighbor down the street, they were paying $100. It was averaging about $130 throughout the year. We got them locked in at a price at $86, right? The biggest difference is that $86 is a flat rate, okay? So it's not gonna increase and won't decrease on it. How much do I have to pay? You said the zero down pay, because I don't know. What's gonna be the total cost? Uh, it's a different for every single home. It just depends on how many people live here. So you got in your first bill, right? 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm leaving information. At, do you know your neighbors like right behind you? Yeah. Have you met them yet? Yeah. Perfect, you know Michael? Right behind. Well, it might have been right behind, but like two over. It's a it's the it's the guy with the truck. They probably they just moved in. Oh, they just moved in. Yeah, they just moved in. They got the solar over there. Yeah, so we're well we're gonna be leaving information at their house. Um and then I'll swing back around and leave you with your information. I can be here in the morning. Um the only thing is just so I leave you with the correct information. Do you take care of the electricity bill or does the wife? You do do you do paper or paperless? You do paperless. So and you with what company are you with? Champion? Okay, so you get an email every single month from your electricity, but you know what I'm talking about. So just so I leave you with the correct information tomorrow morning, do you mind pulling out that email real quick? It just has that graphic kilowatt usage. Real quick where I write my name down. Can you grab your phone real quick? I will be honest with you, I'm not like they're ready for the solar right now. Oh, 100%. Yeah, I mean, here's the a, here's a problem with that. That's totally okay, sir. But no, we just want to be able to leave you with the correct information, right? And it's okay if you do want to wait, just so you know yeah, if you do I, wait. I just want to wait. Right, Let's but see. you live in a world of inflation, right? Do yeah, you notice yeah. how everything's going up yeah, right now? Yeah, I know, I know. Right, all we want to do is just leave you with the information, yeah. though. Um, but do you mind grabbing your phone real quick so we can get that, that email right there? So I can have your graph kilowattage. What do you want to see? So you, you know the graph you get from the your in your email? Oh yeah. Awesome. Awesome. We'll see you tomorrow morning, sir. Right. Thank you. We were able to set up an appointment for tomorrow morning. Um, he was a little bit stuck up at first, um, but it was just one of those things where you had to break occupation with him and kind of just, he's one of those people you have to have control over the whole thing. So I was just kind of making sure I got that bill from him or at least got him to pull out that phone and try to get it for me. He knows I'm in control of this. So then that way when I come back tomorrow, I'm just gonna lead off of that. Ooh, smells good. It smells real good. Hey, sorry to bother you, sir. Are you, is this where Thanksgiving's going down right now? I smell the good food. <laughs> Are you guys the new homeowners here? We are not interested on this whole thing. Thank you so much for being by. Yeah, no worries. Um, real quick, which part were you guys interested in, just so I know? Um, I'm gonna mark it down in a book so one of my guys don't stop by. Was it the saving money part or making money part? Hey, sorry to bother you, sir. Are you the uh, new homeowners here? Yeah. Not here to waste your time. I wanna leave you with one of these. Has anyone stopped by to kind of explain what's going on with yeah, the solar? Yeah, they have. Okay, are you guys on the neighborhood Facebook page? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Did you see what was going on with our? No. Okay, so we're your, we're your guys' local company. Um, we're actually located here in Arlington. You guys know the uh, the Six Flags? Yeah. Just right across the street right there. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, we've been getting a lot of calls from a lot of your neighbors here. Um, all we're doing now is a big group rate for everyone. Mm -hmm. Essentially, just the cost of the panels went down, removed all the upfront costs, which it has been making a no-brainer for a lot of your neighbors here, especially when they've been kind of just thinking about it, just like yourself. Right. Um, I know you said you weren't interested. Have you actually looked into it, got like a proposal done? Good news is we've helped out majority of your neighbors. If you guys go to like the newer development there, Lowry Oaks, Thunder River Road up there, we've been helping out a lot of the installations out there. We're helping out Michael. He's right behind you guys. Um, we're gonna be meeting with him in the next five minutes. I can swing back around and leave you with your information. Just so you haven't, you have actually something physical to think about. Does that kind of make sense? What electricity company did you say you were with? Pulse Power? Yeah. Okay, so when you go Pulse Power, we would end up buying you guys out of that contract and we would switch you over to a Reliant, TXU, Green Mountain Energy, or Rhythm. Yeah. Reason being is they do what's called as a buyback program. Have you heard anything about it? Maybe seen it on the billboards on the side of the freeway? So this is a Reliant bill on solar. Okay, so the biggest difference is they put you on what's called as a Reliant Simple Solar Sellback Plan. Okay, notice how the energy charge this month was 162. You see how their solar grid credit was negative 221. So basically what you're seeing, all that additional kilowattage, you own your power now. You do what you want with your power, sell it back to the grid. Um, so the whole idea of solar, it's actually a bill swap. You're not paying your electricity company anymore. They're just gonna be generating credits for you guys. Um, let me see real quick, just so I leave you guys with the correct information. You take care of the electricity bill or does it wipe? Okay, so you know that email you get every single month from Pulse Power? Do you mind pulling that up real quick? There's a graph on there. Right now, yeah. 100%, just yeah. take one second, and then that way when I leave you the information, it's all gonna be the correct information. Oh, awesome. Do you mind if I just send that to myself? Yeah, you can just take a picture of it, please. We'll see you here at 4.30. Right. Thank you. It was a yeah. pleasure, thank you, sir. So that door knocked, he's been looking into it for a little while. What he needs to understand is it's always good to have options if you wanna make a decision. Um, the best thing about me, I know in the back of my head, because I've, I've heard this a thousand times, yeah, we wanna just gather it, we wanna gather it. The confidence that you guys have to have just to like control this conversation. Like when I say controlling the conversation, it's the most important thing in the world because he wanted to shut the door on me and end that five minutes ago. But now I got a bill. Now I got a setback time. 
Now I got his phone number and information there. Um, and I just built that much urgency. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe to the Lean Bros, number one solar sales from America. We freaking love Mikhail, and we're gonna go out there and do this like five more times today, guys. Let's get it. Let's go.